Well, despite receiving four Pinocchios and a pants on fire rating, Hillary Clinton is sticking to her claim that the FBI said she's telling the truth. What kind of stuff was in those emails that he keeps harping on? It was all personal stuff, and we've said that consistently. And as the FBI said, Everything that I've said publicly has been consistent and truthful with what I told them. What I told the FBI, which he said was truthful, is consistent with what I have said publicly. Yeah, but that's not what FBI Director Jim Comey said. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails, either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. Secretary Clinton, Clinton said I did not you. email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? Uh, there was classified material emailed. And someone here says this could cost her big time in November. Hi, everybody. I'm David Asin. Welcome to Forbes on Fox. Let's go in focus to find out with Steve Forbes, Elizabeth McDonald, Bill Baldwin, John Tamney, and Bruce Jackson. So, Steve, what's different here is that she now claims she didn't lie to the public. And the FBI director clearly said that's not true. Absolutely, David. But the key thing here is, yes, she did lie. She was caught at it. The Washington Post gave her four nose Pinocchios, which is the ultimate lie. But the, in, in mainstream media, David, as you know, it's not just reporting the story once, it's the repetition. And while they're going after Trump, yes, he gives them a lot of material. With her, they do it once and then sort of just disappears into the mists. But Bruce, this is different. I mean, that, she's doubling down and saying even, even stronger that she publicly uh, said things that Comey said were not true. I mean, I, she, how long can she get away with this? As, as Steve said, the Washington Post gave her four Pinocchios. That's an out and out lie. Uh, PolitiFact did the same thing. So, uh, you know, is, is this just going to pass? Well, I think she's so, she's so far ahead in the polls, I was almost going to pass my turn this week and let you guys go at it. No, I'm just kidding. So she, with the private server, listen, she's admitted that she's made a mistake. She's, no, she hasn't. What she said, she's doubling yes, she down that she, she didn't she's, make no, a mistake. She, okay. Or that she, she didn't said lie. she used a private server. She said the FBI director has said they went hard at this. He went above and beyond the call. He had a press conference. He outlined all this stuff. This, this stuff gets in the weeds of small paragraphs that had a small C on it sent back and forth and whatever. It's bigger than it, that. You know, it, it's, it's not. But John, it, it, she, she, is, she, didn't John do she is now saying things that absolutely were contradicted by the FBI director. She, she did not, he did not say that she publicly did not lie. He said publicly what she was saying wasn't true. Well, let's imagine a Republican politician who had decades of struggles with the truth, as Hillary Clinton plainly has. This person not only would not be a national politician, there's no way this person would be running for president. So to deny that the mainstream media has given her somewhat of a pass is, I, is I think, of a, a bit of a myth. But at the same time, I think Republicans need to get real here. If they can't beat Hillary Clinton based on better policy ideas, they've got much bigger problems than a mainstream media that doesn't seem to hold Democrats to the same well, standards they do Republicans. That may well be true, John. But again, this issue is getting a lot of attention even by some people, Emac, who are not Trump fans. Ron Fournier, who's not at all a Trump fan, he said a lot of bad things about Trump, said her dishonesty could push an unknown number of independent and undecided voters into Trump's camp or toward a non-major party candidate, and that could give Trump the victory. Yeah, when you drill down into what the swing voters are saying, there's frustration with Hillary Clinton. So, you know, you go from James Comey saying, we don't have evidence that she lied. But then you, that swings uh, somehow in Hillary Clinton's mind into proof. It morphs into a statement that he's saying, I told the truth. This is like saying, uh, you know, that people who eat a year-old bologna is saying that it's, you know, quality good meat. Right. And it's bologna. I mean, uh, listen, you put a private email server in your basement. That's what happened. And what about those 34,000 emails? Did any of them involve the Clinton Foundation well, that were erased? She, she says they were all about yoga lessons, Bill. Well, why? I want to know, David, why are we still so fixated on Clinton's mail server? What difference at this point does it make? <laughs> Both candidates are liars, okay? But one of them is, in addition, a lunatic, and the other one is, in addition, a crook. <laughs> so we should be talking about lunacy and crookedness. Well, Steve, here's why it matters, because there's a lot of money involved. There were a lot of decisions that Hillary Clinton made when she was actually Secretary of State 
that might have had to do with the Clinton Foundation? Was she giving favors to people who were donating? If she's lying about the email thing, maybe she's also not telling the truth about the Clinton Foundation. That involves national security and billions of dollars. Yes, Dave, and that's why two-thirds of the American people feel firmly that she is a liar, untrustworthy, and those uh, emails that were not destroyed or were covered, uh, the foundation was mentioned not once. We know she had a lot of correspondence in those foundations, and the intriguing question is, does Vladimir Putin have those 33, 34,000 emails in there, and does that enable him to put claws into her? Because we know yeah. there's some damning stuff in there. Well, Bruce, I, I, we, we look at polls, and polls don't really give us an answer in terms of this, because both of these candidates are not really trusted when it comes to their honesty issue. Do, do, the, do the negatives on both sides, both Clinton's side and Trump's side, kind of cancel each other out? Well, I, I, th I think possibly, but, but here's the deal. I think people, when, when you look at Hillary, people are looking at Cl Hillary Clinton's 30-year you know, body of work. I mean, this week you had Warren Buffett endorse her, Mark Cuban endorsed her, Meg right. Whitman, the former Republican candidate or governor, and then just Friday you had uh, Michael Morrell, a 30-year CIA deputy director who worked for Republicans and Democrats, endorse her. Right, I mean, although she's he's right. always <laughs> leaned towards the Democrats. John, go ahead. What is the 30-year body of work? The best thing she ever did is that she had a good sense of talent and married Bill Clinton. Would any of us be talking about <laughs> oh, that's her terrible. if she hadn't that's been true. married to Clinton? It's just, it's just a simple fact. What did she do in the Senate that was so special? What did she do that was so special she as the Secretary Nixon. of State? The best thing that happened to her right now is that she's running against someone who d can't even well, make the case that, B that Hillary Clinton's policies okay. would be awful for the country. I'm going to throw it back to Bruce for a second. Bruce, what did she do that was positive as Secretary of State? Give us some examples. Listen, she, she restored our credibility around the world. It was at what? rock bottom under what? George W. Bush. Do we have more it credibility, was at rock Steve? Under Steve George do we w. have more Bush. credibility now than we did under George Bush? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Steve? I'm, 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 I'm Steve, not you, Bruce. Um, but, uh, but, 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 but in, ter in terms of uh, credibility among uh, international leaders, they hold uh, Obama and her in contempt. Libya, the red line in the sand. He was going to do something to make Iraq better. Failure. You look everywhere around there. Failure. So if you think that's credibility, all she did was run up yeah. for frequent miles. And Emac, it's, it's her experience, which a lot of people put in doubt, as Steve just did, compared to what Donald Trump is promising. He has experience at, in the private sector, uh, but he doesn't have any in the public. So which do you choose, or which do the voters well, choose? Well, that's what's so frustrating, again, for the voters. I mean, you know, uh, what is going on with Donald Trump careening from pillar to post, from headline to headline, and the statements he makes, is masking what would would have been the big headline, and that is Hillary Clinton saying that, quoting James Comey, saying that I told the truth. Right. When that's flat out not true. That would be the media headlines this week if we didn't have these uh, kerfuffles that Donald Trump right. was getting at. And, and Bill, with, with Trump, because of his private sector experience, there's a lot of he said, he said, she said. He, with, with Hillary Clinton, it's actual experience. We can judge how she did with a Russian reset. We can judge how she did with Libya, which she was claiming as her own foreign policy success. I mean, it's, it's experience that we can judge versus promises, which Trump has. I'm glad, David, you're veering off of the fitting question, which is pervasive in politics, and focusing on the real issues. Was she good as Secretary of State? Yeah. Was Trump, uh, some, is Trump something of a clown? Do we want him in the White House? Those are the issues. Yes, she has a 30-year body of work. It began with some very clever cattle trades. <laughs> so <laughs> what's the deal here? Do we care that she was fibbing about the cattle, yeah. or do we care that she was taking a bribe? Those are the big issues. Well, those are the issues that voters are going to decide on. Thank you, gang. Coming up 